Good morning, everyone. How are you today? That's not a question I ask you very often, but if you're in a classroom, I want you to look over at your friend and just say I'm doing well. Today is day 40, and we're going to be looking at Mark chapter 8, verse 9, but I want to show you a picture of my boys and I. We were out hiking today, and man, it was fun. So this picture is called the tree of friendship because it's intertwined, and that's what friends do. They are close, and they're there for one another. So this morning, I want us to pray. We're going to ask God's blessing over this lesson. Lord, we thank you for the beauty of your presence, God. We thank you for who you are and what you are going to do today. And we open our hearts, Lord, that you can speak right into us and give us a fresh revelation out of your word today. Bless every student in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, today we are going to look at a miracle that Jesus did. It's very similar to one we have recently read about feeding the multitude, but this one has a little different light that I'm going to bring out today. All right, so let's start in. Mark chapter 8 verse 1 says, In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples unto him and saith unto them, I have compassion on the multitude because they have now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. And if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint by the way, for divers of them came from far. Have you ever gone three days without eating? I know some of you are thinking, no way, but maybe you were sick and you didn't feel like eating. And, uh, or maybe your parents, you've watched them go on three-day fasts or whatever. The whole thing about going three days without food makes you weak and tired and You just don't have your strength up. But Jesus turned to his disciples again to try to pull out an answer from them. To try to, I I don't know if it's just looking at their faith or their fear. But, you know, just showing what was inside of them. And his disciples in verse 4 answered him, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? I know if you look in the book of Psalms, it talks about, um, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? But yes, he can. And he's just about to show us how. I love it. In verse five, he asked them, how many loaves have ye? And they said seven. So again, it goes back to the previous time when he fed the multitude. And this is two separate incidences. They said seven. So Jesus is going back and saying, show me your resources. Show me what you have to offer. And so they did. Seven loaves. And verse 6, And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and gave thanks and break. And gave to his disciples to set before them. And they did set before them before the people. And they did set them before the people. You know, again, Jesus is having everyone to relax, to recline. And I do believe that he calls us to work for him in the field. And he asks us, what do you have? Let me multiply it. But before he does that, he wants us to relax. He wants us to give thanks and allow that brokenness to happen in our life. And so that we can feed the multitudes with what we have. Uh, Verse 7 says, And they had a few small fishes, and he blessed and commanded to set them also before them. So not only did they have loaves, but they had some fishes as well. Verse 8 says, So they did eat and were filled. And they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets. Okay? We're going to pause right there because I just saw in my commentary where this says these baskets were different from those in Mark 6 and 43. This term refers to a hamper large enough to hold a person. Wow, I really wish that I could have a picture of this, but I want you to picture it in your mind. Here's the little boy with the loaves or the fish, whatever, and the disciples that look a little bewildered, but... I want you to picture those leftover baskets. They were hamper size, like they were large enough to fit a human being in. 
And that was what was left over, seven of them, which seven corresponds to the number of loaves or the number of completion. Like seven days completes a week. Jesus did a work and he completed it. And verse 9, And they that had eaten were about 4,000, and he sent them away. This wasn't just 4,000. This was just 4,000 men. This didn't include the children and the wives. It didn't include all the others. So there is no telling again how many he fed. But this story is very powerful in letting us know that God can take, again, what we have and multiply it so many times over, but we do have to learn to relax, to give thanks, to be broken, and let him feed the multitude. And and, and if he has leftovers, let's go ahead and use them for another day. (laughs) I hope that blesses you today. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. God bless.